Hey guys, this is Emmy, and uh, I had some questions about how do you take a sketch from Photoshop into Manga Studio. So I'm going to try to quickly go over this. Um, it's not hard at all, so it probably won't take me very long to do that. And then I'll probably use this image for an inking demonstration as well as like a shading, coloring, all that good stuff. Like a how to finish your drawing sort of thing. Now this is actually a sketch from a much larger image. I, I didn't have anything complete to work on right now, so I'm kind of in the middle of a bunch of different things, so I just went and found this. <laughs> Maybe I'll use it as an icon or something. Okay, so I've sketched it. You can see I've done multiple layers. There's there's a lightish blue layer here and a darker blue layer here, so I've, I've gone over it multiple times. It's still not that great, you know, like I said, I was still working on it. Now, what's important to know here is that uh, oh, by the way, you open up the image size window by going to, 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 to image and image size. You can also use alt control i to open that. But anyway, so the thing to know here is your image size. In pixels, this image is a square. It's, uh, I'm going to write it down. It's 1080 by 1080. And those are pixels. And it's also 300. Oops. 300 dpi. The size of your image and the dpi are your two biggest concerns and those are the things you want to remember. Okay, so and, and hell, just, just write it down right in the corner because this is just your sketch. Nobody else is going to see this unless you put your sketches up and you know just clip that out or whatever. So just write it down somewhere. I do it all the time. I make notes on all my sketches. Now we're going to go and we're going to say save as just going to go to my desktop real quick. Now it's automatically going to want to save it as um, a Photoshop file. We don't want that. We want to save it as a JPEG. That's what I found works the best. So we'll just name this inking tutorial. Save it. It'll ask you like some quality options, you know. I just say maximum or whatever. It's who cares. It's you're never going to use this file again. Okay. So I'm going to close Photoshop and open up Manga Studio, and I'll see you in a second. All right, so here we are. We're in Manga Studio. Um, I closed Photoshop while I work in Manga Studio just so my computer isn't having a meltdown. <laughs> um, now, I have it set up to default open a page that's, that is the um, size of the comic pages that I use because I, I mostly am working on my comic pages. Um, so that's what that does. So just close that and uh, we're going to open a new one. And this is just like uh, Photoshop Control N, open a new page. Um, it will ask you if you want to open a new story. That's sort of a different way that Manga Studio works with its files, with like categorization and stuff. I never make new stories. I don't exactly understand how that all works and I'm not very comfortable with working that way. So I just say new page. And you'll get this, and it will say custom page or page templates. Now, we aren't necessarily doing a comic page, so we're just going to say forget page templates and go right to standard resolution, which is 300 dpi. Because remember, that's what our sketch is, it's 300 dpi. I just bumped my microphone, pardon. I'm waving my hands all over. I'm so passionate. Okay, so... Um, basic color model. I'm just going to say uh, monochrome. We're not going to be working with anything but just very simple inks. Um, and then now we're going to tell it uh, what size we want the canvas to be. We're going to make sure it's set to pixels. We're going to say 1080 and 1080. And see how it, it changed the size of our canvas over here? That's great. Now um, you can tell it to do some other stuff. You can give it some different uh, dimensions and layouts and things like that to let you know where your gutters are and, and stuff. That's more like comic booky stuff. Don't don't worry about that. So we'll just uncheck that. Leave that alone. Forget that. Move on. Stop focusing on it. <laughs> Let's go over to the page settings now, and uh, it's going to ask you, do you want single or double? Again, this is like for comic booking. So just you know, say no, we just want single, we're just working on one thing, Manga Studio. Stop harassing us with all your options. Okay, so after we do that, we're going to go to File, we're going to go to Import, we're going to go to Image File, 
and then we're going to go get our sketch and say open. Now it's going to look really pixely at first and it will have this red uh, like bounding box to transform it. Now you shouldn't have to do anything. It should fit perfectly. It should just snap right into place. And trust me, you know, you do this every day for a couple years, you're, you know, you're going to be able to do this in your sleep. You're going to be inking in your sleep. I tell you what. So anyway, so just hit enter. It snaps right into place. Let me show you our layer window. Get out of here options we don't need to. I'm also gonna get in a little closer there. So uh, we are currently on the image layer uh, which is the sketch that we imported from Photoshop. Uh, you know what was I gonna say? I don't know forget it. So anyway, <laughs> I'm really tired so I'm just I'm all over the place on this tutorial but hopefully you're following along you're getting this. Okay so right now it's at 100 percent opacity we're gonna change that to 18 percent and hit enter which is right there that's your little opacity meter this should be feeling similar you know to Photoshop um, you can probably barely see it now personally this is the opacity level that I'm comfortable working at but if you don't like 18 percent you know move it up move it down whatever I'm not gonna come into your house and tell you how to ink so uh, and then it will give you two other default layers one of these is perfect for inking so we're gonna say ink that's gonna be our ink layer notice the text is in black and that there is no um, blue binding box or I'm not sure like sample box or something I'm not exactly sure what you call that but see how this layer has a little blue icon and it turned this color blue see when I go back and forth it switches between blue and black this would be like a sketching layer and if, if ever a layer uh, changes the color of your palette and the color of this icon uh, just click this little box here and that will change it back to black but you know what we don't even need it so just get out of here but I'll, I'll explain in a minute what you can use that for alrighty sorry just adjusting my microphone now uh, we're gonna change this just so we don't get confused this is the sketch alright and we are going to lock the sketch because we don't wanna draw on it it won't even let you but you know we just want to lock it just in case we don't accidentally delete it and just like Photoshop there's a little lock right there we'll just click that and it locks our sketch off okay so we don't even need that let me uh, move my layers let me explain the pen stuff to you pull this guy down here too okay so next to this little blue pencil is the pen tool now in Photoshop you're probably thinking oh god not the pen tool it's gonna make all kinds of little little thingy-mabobs and rotations and whatnot you know that uh, it doesn't quite work the same I've never gotten a clear answer on how the vectors work in this program but they do so but don't worry it's not it's not scary at all you're gonna love it hopefully so we're gonna click on pen and you're gonna have a lot of different options oh god what did I do I almost panicked. You're going to have a lot of different options. I use the G brush um, and it will look very um, fat. <laughs> but don't worry, we're going to change that. So you want to uncheck stroke in and stroke out. Now what those do is uh, it tells the program that when you make a line, I'll turn them on right now, now Photoshop this would look great you'd be like oh yeah look at that great pen shape it's gonna give me a, an awesome line but look what it does look what it does look at that why did it point all that oh you're mad with power manga studio no I, it looks like I'm gonna do a Tim Burton set or something doesn't it do like spiral mountain it's so pointy it just hurts me it cuts so we're gonna turn that off now if you're using a tablet I have to correct myself. I always say Wacom as like my default. That's what we always said in college. I have to remember it's just tablet because there's a whole bunch of brands now. So anyway, if you're using a tablet, your tablet is going to compensate for your, your inking and for your pen pressure. So you don't need that clicked. And I didn't know that. And I used to get confused. Also, all this over here, don't, don't bother with any of that. I can go over that all in a a later video but it, it doesn't really affect us right now so don't even think about it now this 
is the golden part of Manga Studio. That is correction. And correction uh, follows you as you move your pen. So right now, uh, I have it on one. So, you know, it's not doing anything. You don't see it doing anything. All right, so we're going to go. We're going to move it up now. We're going to go to five. Now watch it now. You can just barely see it following my pen and correcting it. It's just uh, compensating for slight movements in your hand, uh, little wiggles here and there. You know, we're not perfect, so we'll move it up to 10 now. Now you can really see it crawling on my line, making sure that it stays nice and smooth. Okay, now we're going to take it all the way up to 15. We're rebels. Oh, now look at it. It's really snapping it, making sure that everything's nice and smooth. Now, generally, I don't like to work at that size. I mean, I can't even write my name. You know, it's like, it's bizarre. I usually try to stay between a 3 and a 7, depending on how big I'm working and other little factors like that. You know, so let me uh, just move my windows down to where I'm comfortable. That's the other thing that's nice. You can just move your windows all over. So we're at a correction five, and we're going to go in, and I'm going to show you how I do my inking. Now, this is all about pen pressure, okay? So a lot of times when people watch me draw, you know, on live stream, you'll see me doing this. That's uh, me getting comfortable, trying to figure out what the correction is set at. I usually do them really fast just to make sure that it's, it's doing uh, the correct pressure. So we're going to do her eyebrow, and we're going to start soft, heavy. See how we did that? Soft, heavy, just like this. Heavy, 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 just like that. Okay. Well, my hand hovers over Control Z in this program. All right, see, there you go. So that's how you do it. Um, if you like, I can make a uh, thin and heavy uh, work file for Manga Studio if you guys would like, and I can uh, put some different exercises for things that you can uh, ink to help you practice uh, laying down heavy and thin lines. Now, after a while, see here, this is all one shape, or this is all one width. Let me um, make my sketch layer just a teens darker for you. So you see how this is all one width? There's no real pressure or thickness. There's no weight behind this line. There's nothing interesting about that line. But after a while, you begin to just kind of get a feel for where you're going to put weight when you start to ink. Just like that. Now, it does take time to get used to inking like this. Um, but if you ink by hand, you might actually find this pretty easy. You might just fall right into this. I, I know I did. Um, but I still was having trouble, you know. Um, let me make a new layer here real quick so we can just goof around a little bit. I would just be going like this, and I would be like, no, why is it, no, it's too heavy, oh, it's too thin, oh, you know, and it was like a roller coaster of line width, you know. Um, so I actually started watching uh, Japanese uh, calligraphy painting online, like on YouTube, like looking up videos, and just watching how they did it. Yeah, um, and one of the exercises they did was called the bamboo exercise. Let me take my correction down to one. And the bamboo exercise, you can go like this. Heavy, 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 and then thin, 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 and then like that. And it helps you kind of get a feel. For for doing the uh, thin to heavy lines and back and forth and really uh, putting that emotion in your inks. 
Because inks are gorgeous. I, I just, I fall in love with people's inks. You know, so uh, you will get the hang of it. It, it does take a little while. Um, but Manga Studio is definitely the one that I've found the, the easiest to work with. Um, the most easily corrected or correctable program, I guess. Like, if you make a mistake, it's very easy to fix things. And I find it uh, very natural looking. You know, I always get questions if I ink by, you know, if I uh, ink traditionally off the computer, and I, I don't. <laughs> I probably haven't inked like that in, oh, goodness, four or five years or something now. I haven't actually had a manga studio that long. I just, uh, I kind of took it upon myself that I was going to go completely digital at some point because I was spending so much money on art supplies and I felt like I wasn't improving quick enough and I found that working digitally I was able to edit my art and look at it in a multitude of different ways and in different programs and things and that's what helped me improve quickly. Now it might not help uh, you improve or you might just not like Manga Studio or, or whatever you know um, and that's totally fine. I'm just trying to help you guys out. Just quit getting on my back about this, you guys. No, no, I am just trying to help you out, and I'm not trying to push anybody into the program or anything. This isn't like the cult of Manga Studio. <laughs> it is. Oops, I didn't even have my correction on. But see, you, you know, you just you start picking it up, and you don't even need it after a while. So I tell you what, I'm going to finish this. And then uh, on the next video we will do, because uh, this video is getting a little long now, we will do um, coloring and shading, and I'll show you how I finish my work and things like that. So I will see you guys next time.